Well, here's the next project that uh, has caused me huge amounts of headache over the last little while. Amber Series 70. Around 70 watts of channel rated. It's probably a lot more. It's got really big capacitors. And it's got a really big transformer as well. The uh, output devices now are uh, 50 amp rated Motorola. <laughs> While I was at it, I um, figured since these boards were fried because uh, this amp doesn't have thermal tracking, so these probably really commonly blew up to be honest. Not a very good design. It uses the uh, LM371 chip amp basically. It's basically just a glorified gain clone for the most part. But anyway, I figured since I was at it, I replaced all the resistors with 1% uh, uh, metal film resistors. All the capacitors with new. Might as well, right? And uh, of course, my fancy trimmer pot. I like putting those in because it makes things just so much nicer than those crappy one-turn pots. I, uh, I've had this thing on for the last three days. to uh, make sure it was stable and stuff like that. I had, uh, of course, my uh, speakers, 6.8 ohm resistors that I've been playing into, and of course, just an MP3 player plugged into the thing. And it all appears to be good, so yeah. It's a good sounding amp. For what it is, it's a good sounding amp. Hopefully it's good for many years, especially since I spent the time replacing all the crappy speaker terminals that this thing has with nice new speaker terminals and nice new RCAs. So, the old ones were crap. So they're thankfully gone.